Ooh, man. That last video about the Amazon driver, a lot of y'all had a lot to say. There was a disconnect. People closer to my age agree with me and people who were younger who were like, hey, I fully understand why he did what he did. And then, you know, even then y'all was like, all right, the whole thing about going on Twitter was a bit much. Let me break down the game for you. See, I, I have to go back in time. I have to go back to a time when I used to think like you did. Here's the thing. You are paid according to how easy it is to replace you. That, that's never going to change. If they can go out and get a monkey to do your job, you will get what they would pay a monkey. That's not going to change. Your income is not going to go up. And I even saw in the comments where it's like, I work 40 hours, I should be able to uh, afford an apartment. Not necessarily. One of the things that has happened in America is that the number of people who have moved from regular jobs and careers to trash jobs has accelerated. I talked about this in the video, the hostile employment environment. And I talked about this, you know, I'm talking about it now. Many of these trash jobs used to be done by teenagers. You would go into, when I was a kid, if you went into a fast food restaurant, 90% of the staff I knew because I went to high school with them. And there was like one or two adults who were managers that were around. Now you can literally go into a fast food restaurant and see several middle aged to older workers working for these fast food counter. Let me go ahead and explain to you why your first few jobs set the die for future income. One of the worst things that's happened is the people who came out of college during the Great Recession. Many of these people were not able to find jobs or experienced a few years of not working and then they had to get, quote, a trash job. This impacts your income for decades. Remember when, you know, they're trying to get it where a prospective employer cannot ask you how much money you made. Because if you made $30,000, they're going to offer you 32 to 35,000. They're not going to offer you way beyond what you used to make because it's like, Hey, they're used to this. So if we gave them a little bit more. And this is one of the reasons that people are jumping out of trucks. You know, it's like, well, I'm making 40 cents a mile over here, but they're going to pay me 55 cents a mile over here. But, one of the things that people don't understand, and this is a big, big issue that comes with the wage gap, social economic ability, uh, mobility, that if you are one of these pissed off millennials, you need to start your own business. However, if you have these bad habits, of just quitting jobs and leaving the van and going on Twitter, I guarantee you, you're going to be a lousy CEO. You're going to be a lousy president because you have bad habits. And someone put a link to where this guy did an interview and he was in the basement of his parents' house. And I was like, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. So you got to understand right now, we're in the hunger games where people are literally going out and fighting for survival. This is what's going on. This is what's happening. This is one of the things that is starting to percolate And the Rona made things worse because remember, I've been talking to you guys. I've been letting you know, I'll be like, Hey, you know, the economy isn't as good as you think it is. And the economy shut down for like three months and we are looking at decades of damage. 
we're looking at the ripple effect. But let's go ahead and talk about this job thing. Now, I know many of you millennials don't want to hear this, but you need to work these crappy trash jobs. And I agree with you. I too had, was in a position in my life where I could only get crappy and trash jobs. Let's go ahead and examine the reason why I was only able to get crappy and trash jobs. Cause that's all, that's all I was good to do. I know that's a hard recognition. That's a hard come to Jesus moment. But if you find yourself only able to consistently get trash job after trash job, you have to look at your skill sets because that's where the money is made. The money is in the skill sets because right now, good contractors, even during Arona, they booked up. Plumbers booked up. Electricians booked up. People because one of the reasons that electricians, plumbers, and these skilled trades is so many of you did not go into a skilled trade. So many of you went to college. Right now, there's a shortage of skilled trades craftsmen and the people who are, who are able to do it, they, 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 they can get paid whatever they want. I had a clogged up drain in my shower. Because literally when you get in the shower, the water would rise up and it was getting really bad. It was $169 to get that cleaned out from a plumber. He was here 30 minutes. But I didn't have the tools. I didn't have the stuff. You know, I tried Drano and everything. It didn't work. And there was a significant clog. He had to use his snaky thing to go in there and get it. And also the drain was actually sealed so i mean it was it was i didn't have the tools nor the knowledge to unclog that drain he did and that's why he got 169 dollars out of me once again the skill trade so if you are a pissed off millennial talking about i'm being abused i'm being mistreated they taking advantage of me you need to skill up if you consistently have found yourself in the last five years being abused, taken advantage of, because like, understand, I know Amazon is a hard job. I worked for FedEx in Ellingwood, Georgia for six weeks. I lost 20 pounds my first four weeks because you're perpetually moving. You, you don't stop. You're moving, you're moving, you're moving. It's a hard job. I told him, I was like, my, my fourth week, I was like, look, uh, I can't do this no more. So I'm turning in my two weeks notice today. I couldn't do it no more. So I'm not disagreeing with you that the working conditions of these jobs are not brutal. They are. But the onus is on you to skill up. Like right now. You know, if I wanted to get a job running Google ads, I can make six figures running Google ads. If I wanted to get a job teaching someone how to do YouTube, because see, there, there, there's because I'm part of the digital economy. I know how to do thumbnails. I know how to shoot YouTube videos. I know how to put together a video. I know how to there. There are so many in demand skills. I know. I don't write scripts for these videos, but I know how to write scripts. There are so many things that if somebody, if y'all just said, Glendon Cameron, we don't like you no more. We don't, we, we, we don't like you. We're going to stop watching your videos and people just stop watching my videos. I can get me a six figure job because I have multiple skills and I'm not bragging or boasting. It is just when this is one of the things that you have to understand. And this is why I urge people to start a YouTube channel, to start a podcast. When you do this, I have a friend, he and his girlfriend, now his wife had a podcast and they actually were making really good money. And then he got offered a, a really good job because he was putting together this podcast. They were inviting people. They were having out stuff. He got this job that paid him $400,000 because the company saw what he could do. They saw, see, they knew he could do 
and they hired him to do for their company. And essentially he was helping people create and set up podcasts because he knew how to do it. It's like, this is your cover art. This is how you do. It. So essentially they hired him to do for their larger customers, what he was doing for himself. $400,000. He couldn't turn it down because it was more money than he and his wife were making running their own operation. He was just like, baby, I got to take this job. So it is, you know, and let's just be hundred percent clear. It is a hostile employment environment. And remember the video where I talked about the left behind class. If you do not get current viable in demand skills, you will be part of the left behind class. That's who you're going to be. And the left behind class is going to be huge because like right now, and this is a little different, but American culture is so bold and bodacious and it's so cocky that this is the reason that Irona rate is ridiculous. Canada, they got control over their Rona. The, you know, right now in America, we have, everyone feels in America that they're, they're a king. Everyone feels that they have the ability to be a king. That's right now. The simple thing, such as wearing a mask and not to be, wear a mask, this has become a political issue. It has become a hotbed issue. Like I said, you wear a seat belt, no problem. Wearing a seat belt doesn't infringe it. You know, wearing a mask is like wearing a seat belt. It's a preventive measure, but it has become such a hot, debated that there's a group of people that have made up a fake, I can't wear a, a, a mask kind of card because it's become such, because Americans were really obtuse in the ways. We, we do a lot of good things. We, we have a lot of good qualities, you know, but some of these good qualities also in the same vein can be bad qualities. And this whole notion, like, you know, Gary V has got everyone thinking they could be a boss. And if you've got bad habits, like, like I said, this guy who just did this, He's got some bad habits and I guarantee you if he wasn't living up at his parents' house, he wouldn't have quit his job. I guarantee it. Cause see, this is another thing with these younger people who are quitting jobs. They still live with their parents. It's like, I quit my job. I still have a place to stay. I still have food to eat. And it's like, you know, I, I can't, you know, and I, I saw this interview. It was like working for the white man and all this other stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, dude, you just don't want to work. Because once again, I understand these are trash jobs. Understand that they will abuse you. I remember when last trash job I worked, I worked for a speak about trash jobs. Go sign up at your local label ready. If they're still around or manpower, these are places that you show up at four o'clock in the morning. It's still dark outside and they send you on these jobs. And I showed up one morning at four o'clock in the morning and at 445, we got a job and we were heading up to Gwinnett and it was to work for rooms to go. Trash job. Tra well, actually the job wasn't that hard. We would just get pulling furniture from the racks and lining it up to be staged for delivery. It really wasn't that hard. We had breaks, but I was full of other people who were working the trash job with me. And one day in the break room, this conversation started about prison scars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was up in the Rikers Island, they got me here. Dude raised up his shirt. He had a scar that was from, from the nipple down to the navel all kind of stitches. Well, no, no, they got me here. And I felt some kind of way cause I didn't have a scar. I had nothing to contribute to the conversation. I was just sitting there like I'm around a bunch of criminals and it's an environment. Once again, these people were part of the left behind class. 
See, once again, you have to understand this. The economy is what the economy is. There is opportunity for people with the appropriate skills. If you don't have the appropriate skills, you're going to be one of these pissed off millennials quitting jobs, talking about how you're being mistreated. And I, I'm here to tell you, no one really cares. No one cares. No one is going to cry that you got a bad job and you got to work hard. No one really cares. Like what's going to happen as the economy opens up? Because, you know, I feel that this month we should have, we should regain as many jobs as we lose. And this is going to be even better month. And this is going to put the stimulus package off. It's going to make the stimulus package much smaller than what the Democrats hope for. But, Trash jobs abound. Uber, Instacart, DoorDash, these are trash jobs and they're plentiful. And the thing is, you don't have to have any special skills. You don't have to have any experience to get it. You just go online, sign up to the app. You don't even go through an interview process. It's like, okay, you put your information in and they send you an email. Congratulations, come on board. Here's, here's your code, here's your app. So see back in the day to get a job, you had to go for an interview. You had to provide references. They checked your references. It, it was a ordeal. It was a process because of the, uh, the environment of trash jobs like Amazon. If you breathe in Amazon, they're going to hire you. It's just that simple. If you breathe in, they're going to hire you. You don't have to be remarkable. You don't have to be special. You don't have to go through a lengthy interview process. You just go online, fill out the app, and they're like, all right, come on in on this day for training and orientation. And as long as you are in that orbit, and I know, you know, Junie, you know, Junie, I, I, you're going to have to get you some more skills, baby girl. You're going to have to get you some more skills. You're going to have to come to this digital life. You're going to have to learn how to shoot the camera, do a video, set up some other stuff. You're going to have to learn how to do this because if you want to make more money going forward, we're moving toward a digital economy. Everything that's digital from being able to like, let me give you an example. I, I know I have a few friends who have some pretty significant Instagram accounts and this is where the work ethic comes. I remember hanging with them, and they shot this shot no less than 50 times to get the right shot for this Instagram post. Because, I mean, have you ever been out with a bunch of girls and they're taking shots and stuff and like, you know, girls don't let dudes take their pictures because girls intuitively know how to get the best shot of this other girl, which is a skill set. It's a skill set. And they literally took 50 shots to get this one Instagram post shot. And this is what's happening. Like, go to OnlyFans and these cam girls. There are some of these girls who are making tens of thousands of dollars per month. But you know what? They're working 10 to 12 hours per day. They're working 10 to 12 hours. Because see, you can't get away from work ethic and success. I know there are many people here on the internet that's telling you, you don't have to work that hard. You can work 10 hours a week and make 40 dollars. They're lying to you. They're toying with your emotions. They're gassing you up because they know you lazy. They know that if I told you that, like I, I've been saying this, it's going to take you about two, three years to get your business up and running. I've been saying this for years. And a lot of people are like, oh, okay. You know, he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. But they're gassing you up. So anytime you see someone successful online, understand that there is way more behind the scenes because, you know, y'all think it's just me. I've got two VAs. I've got four people working for me. But y'all just see me. You don't see no staff. And also, as I grow, I'm going to get some more people because I got a program. I'm going to start for Savage Finance. I got to hire some people for that. Once again, these are the hunger games and what's happening and the decision that you make 
this year, if you are one of these people who are working a trash job, the decision that you make in the next six months will determine your next 20 to 30 years. See, this is how income works. During the Great Recession, I mentioned this earlier in the video, these people came out doing the worst job market and this damaged their economic, because see, this is how it works. Your first job leverages your income for your second job. And your second job leverages your income for your third job. So if you come out and get into the job market and you get a trash job and that's where your income range is, that's where you, you're gonna get stuck there for decades. This is why I urge you, I push you, I mock you, I talk junk, I say, start a business. If, cause see, I was caught up in trash job land. And what I did was something very creative. I assumed that I can get a better paying job and the only hiccup was a reference and I solved that by being very creative. I got the job and in 1999, I was making $38,000 a year. And then eight months later, I was making $60,000 a year. And then after that, I went to six figures a year. So I used creative because I, I had a whole different plan. Like you, you go out here and get a job. You like, let's just talk about Big Booty Betty. Sexy Slim Susan, curvaceous, curvaceous Carol. See, many of y'all just work to play. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put these hours in, I'm gonna get this money. And many people are working five days a week to enjoy a day and a half off. There is no planning, there is no future, there is no provisions, there is no long-term game plan. And next thing you know, you 50. And you're like, where did the years go? Big booty Betty, her booty went flat. <laughs> sexy, sexy Slim Susan got fat. <laughs> and you just like, whoa, 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 what's next? What's next? And also, as you age, unless you start a business, your income's gonna go down. These are the hunger games. These are, you gotta fight for your right to be economically progressive. More people fight to party. More people will get into a lot of money and go out and get hookers and blow versus sitting down and having a cohesive plan for upward mobility. Like I said, if you are in low wage hell, you need to start a business. And you need to also, while you're doing these low wage jobs, you need to work them as well as you can so you maintain your good habits. Because once you develop some bad habits, they can be hard to get rid of. And like this guy who just quit Amazon, he's got some, uh, some atrocious habits. I saw the interview, he doesn't communicate well. He is not gonna do well in life. And that's not me being a hater, that's just me making some astute observations as a person who's an employer who has hired people. Once again, you need to work hard. Even though it's a trash, I get it, it's a trash job, you're being abused, you need to work it as hard as you can so you maintain your good habits so when you start your own business, you will have the attributes and the capacities to do well. Because I'm, I'm telling you, this is the Hunger Games. So if you are in a low trash job, to think the decisions you make in the next six months are going to determine what's gonna happen in your next 20, 30 years. And the Rona ain't helping. I know it's the 4th of July. I know people wanna to go to the beach. They wanna chill out drink some frosted drinks and relax. But how can you be relaxing when your financial life is a, set on, is a dumpster fire? You don't have no money. How can you be relaxing? 
So understand, the, these are the Hunger Games. And I know a lot of y'all came at me talking about like, okay, you work in the trap. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Because this one thing to complain and keep talking about that these jobs are trash and these employers don't care about me. What are you going to do about it? Because talk is cheap. You, like I said, you need to start a business. So with that, go below, get 30 days to 2,500, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, get that book. And not only download them because they're free, but also download them and do the work. Go through the course, actually do the work because this is going to be a transformative period because when I was stuck in these trash jobs, it, I didn't have an income problem. I had a skill problem. And that's where many of you, that's where your issue is. You don't have the skill sets. You got a skill gap. And you're going to have to get around that skill gap through self-education. And you're going to have to work really, really hard to get past that. But, yeah, the, the hunger games are on. And like all you folks who are like, I understand what this young man did. I understand why you are where you are. That's hard to hear. But until you start making different decisions, until you start doing different things, until you begin to understand how the world works, you think they care about you? You think corporate America cares about you? They don't care. No, no one cares. And that's one of the things you're going to get over there. Because when I was in my situation, I was butt hurt for about 18 months. It was like, why did this happen to me? Why am I living like this? It's unfair. I'm a good person. No one cares if you're a good person. No one gives a damn. And you got to understand that. You got to get through your, your thick skull. So you, what if you work 60 hours a week and you don't make enough money to afford your own place to stay? That is upon you. Like I said, once again, years ago, years ago, and all of these trash jobs, and back then they weren't even trash jobs. They were transitional jobs. I would work at Burger King. I would work at McDonald's after I get off from school. I'll do this. You know, young people work these jobs and they transitioned into other jobs. They were not, I am I'm working at McDonald's for the next 30 years, unless they actually worked their way up through the McDonald's corporation, became an owner of a McDonald's. This is how people did it. So if you're in a trash job situation, you have no one to blame but yourself. I know that's harsh, but until you begin making different decisions and doing different things and putting stuff together, this is where you're going to be. So go below, get 30 days to 2,500, get the hustler's mindset and begin to expand your perception, begin to expand your mindset and to prepare and understand that you're fighting right now. These are the hunger games. These are the real hunger games. And if you want to win, you got to do some different type of stuff. All right. So that's all I got for you. Watch this next video.